Are you suffering from dim headlights at night? In particular, a dim low beam? Do you remember being impressed by these newfangled projector headlights when you first got the car? Yet now, your projector headlights low output is a real cause for concern? Stay tuned, I've got some answers for you. Projector headlights are available in both flavours, halogen and xenon. So in this video, the discussion relates to both because they both suffer from the same issues. But the reason projector headlights became so popular, it's simply light output efficiency. Projectors have a light output efficiency around 90% compared to reflector headlights uh, at around 50%. But their issue compared to reflectors is that they can only maintain that output for around five to 6,000 hours use, after which the performance starts to tail off quite quickly. Why is that? What causes it? And what do we do about it is probably the most important question. To see the cause, let's look at an old projector and compare it to a new projector. And I'll explain to you what it is that uh, causes the loss in performance. And we'll then go on to discuss how to resolve that. So if I put on the screen now a picture of the reflector that's inside this projector, you can see that the reflective surface is a little bit pitted, lots of little black dots all over it, but also the surface as a whole is quite dull. You wouldn't want to call that a mirror. You certainly couldn't have a shave in it. But if I show you a picture of the reflective surface of this new one, you can see that it's absolutely smooth, totally clean, totally reflective, very, very shiny. By the by, the reflective surface in here, whether it's in a projector or whether it's in a reflector headlight, this is not chrome. Shall I repeat that? This is not chrome. In this particular case, this projector housing is, a, is cast from magnesium. Although for this halogen projector, it's a, a pressed steel affair. But the reflective surface is aluminium. It's a layer of aluminium that's only a few microns thick and it's applied by a process called vapor deposition. So what causes it to go dull instead of remaining shiny? Well, the long and the short of it is two causes. One, heat from the bulbs, and two, UV light, again, from the bulbs. And eventually, over time, the heat and UV attacks the aluminium surface. The aluminium reacts with the oxygen that's in the air inside the lamp, and it starts to pit and corrode. If I set up this demonstration, admittedly a little Heath Robinson, but with a large sheet of uh, cardboard and the garage door pulled down to shield the sun from it, this is the standard currently fitted headlights from my car. But if I switch the bulb and the igniter from this headlight into the new projector, what a difference. The right hand one as you look at it is clearly much, much brighter. In fact, I've got a light meter app on my phone, which may not be absolutely accurate, but measuring the sweet spot on the two beams, on the left beam with the standard headlight, the old projector, I was getting around 7,000 looks. And with this right hand one, I was getting around 40,000 looks with the same bulbs. So what can we do about this? You might say, well, let's just take the reflectors out and uh, just pol polish up the surface again. At first thought, that does sound like a good idea. And I did try it with this one, but it doesn't work. I knew it wouldn't work, but I wanted to be able to show you. The thickness of the aluminium surface is so thin, just a few microns, that as soon as you try polishing it up, you just polish the aluminium off and you get down to the pre-treated surface below. So really, the only solution is new projectors. Now these projectors that are in my Saab headlights are from Heller. And this projector is known as the E55 and was fitted into loads and loads and loads of cars around the world. Uh, I'll put a list in the description. This is an aftermarket version of the E55 known as the Evo XR. This is the uh, version two of the Evo XR with uh, improved optics and an improved shape on the reflector bowl that gives improved focus primarily for the dip beam, but also for the long range high beam. If you feel your headlights have gone dull, now you know why. I'll bet you've tried fitting new bulbs. You've probably tried cheap ones from China and you've probably tried expensive Osram or Philips or something and they've made no damn difference, yeah? This video is the first in a series about customizing your headlights. I'm going to show you how to get the headlight apart, all the gubbins out from inside the headlight. I'm going to show you how to change out the projector units. I'm also going to show you how to reuse 
some of the mechanism from your old units onto your new units if you need to convert the new units from a left hand drive beam to a right hand drive beam because these are only available with a left hand drive beam. I'll also tell you where, to, where you can get these from and which products to get for conversion leads. It's all a straightforward fit, no need to buy any extra box of tricks. And I'm also going to show you some light customization to these headlights to show you how to do it for yourself. After all, while you've got them apart, you might as well do a little extra work on them. I'm going to black out some of this uh, reflective surface that uh, isn't actually used for pure light output. And I'm also going to fit some switchback DRLs in the indicator well. And Saab owners and Vectra C owners, the product I'm going to use is an LED based product that fits straight in, doesn't flash, doesn't give an error message. So I'm linking up above to the playlist and in the card here I'm linking to the next video in the series. If you got value from this video please give it a like, maybe consider subscribing and I will see you next time.